Well, I promised myself I wouldn't do uh, upload any specific uh, news about any specific area, but uh, well, it seems I feel I have to. Well, did you? I bet, as it is a minor country in almost Eastern Europe, actually, I would call currently it Eastern Europe, the Balkan, in the bad sense, like some 20 years ago, uh, Hungary. It is a country without, uh, well, it has a lot of problems. From uh, 2012, the year, it won't have a constitution. It will ha just have a fundamental law. It is in the title called um, Eastern, you know, the holiday, the Christian holiday, uh, Eastern Constitution, but actually in any other material, and of course, even it's in, if it's na even in its name, uh, it is just a fundamental law, not a constitution, because a constitution is a legal document, while this is religious document. Now, uh, the current government is not government; it is tyranny. It is a even it is a one person tyranny even. Uh, well, uh, the government, the governing party, better to say, actually it is a supposed coalition, but it is not because one has what, one half percent of the votes, it's not a coalition, that's, that's just a fake. Mm, that governing party has a so huge percentage in the parliament, that it can do anything. Actually, it could not, because in the Constitution, what I consider legal for that country, uh, said, current, uh, it is still says bec uh, that uh, one, uh, a new uh, Constitution must be voted by uh, and, uh, any of its surroundings. Uh, should be voted be the 4 slash 5 percent, 4 slash 5 part of the whole parliament, and uh, it was, uh, this was taken out, supposedly, as I don't consider it legal, ac it a legal action, uh, with only 2 per 3 part of the parliament's votes. So, someone should do with something with this, but the uh, jury of the Constitution says it is uh, not its uh, influence to do anything with it, and uh, I can't come up with uh, any other forum of that country to work it, so it uh, has to, someone has to turn to the international uh, level of uh, lawmakers, or juries, or whatever it uh, should be called. So, uh, no, uh, how the parties uh, work in this Hungarian parliament? Well, uh, all the ministers and whatnot who sit there uh, has no availability to work independent. Has no independency. Yes, that's the word. Uh, they must do what uh, what their party says, and uh, the pa the pa their party must uh, do what the leader of the party says. So you can see, it is tyranny, one person tyranny, in Hungary, uh, how the things work currently. Now, uh, an interesting thing also that. Uh, Secret agent, one secret agency is currently building up what has uh, what is allowed to without uh, any allowance or 
check by any other organization or law uh, to watch you as the really as the big brother because it can watch any uh, electronic activity uh, within the country yeah that's about the privacy now the supposed uh, foundational law to go back to that uh, takes away the basic human from the basic human rights the freedom of religion what of course means the freedom from religion and only allows to be you uh, allows the Hungarians to be Christians any kind of Christians but only Christians any other uh, religion or non-religion is unconstitutional according to that also interesting part of that uh, fundamental law is that uh, the mm, op the other parties the sorry I checked this The opposite uh, opposition, at least Google says that, uh, is angst uh, are are just lawbreakers. Yeah, they declare the biggest uh, opposing party just common lawbreakers. Yeah, and they already started to do actions in that. Uh, few. Now, there is also a lot of other problems like uh, schools, the uh, elementary schools uh, or any other schools actually can declare themselves a religious organization, religious spreading, religion spreading organization. Uh, this of course means that uh, basic uh, education is exterminated from the country uh, actually you can choose if you choose a non-religious education from the state uh, then you have to be and re teach it for the ethics well but uh, you can just imagine like ethics of the like in the Soviet, uh, Soviets, yeah, uh, not the Russian, current Russian, but at the when Lenin and Marx and Engels worked, worked, or we can call it the Hitler Jugend too. There won't be any difference soon. Also, there is a problem that uh, the L lawful age you c are considered a grown up is 18 years old, uh, but they change the uh, uh, law that uh, tells when uh, you ca um, can leave the school that you no longer have to go to school to 16. So this uh, legalizes uh, work of children. Also, uh, this uh, whatever. Uh, uh, there is also a problem that uh, the modern, since the what is the Second World War, the Hungary has no hymn. Actually, in the laws, uh, the hymn of Kölcsi uh, Ferenc is referred as uh, the uh, hymn of the country but there are two problems with that uh, actually uh, I mean uh, two uh, problems with on two levels one it is unconstitutional it violates the uh, distinction be, uh, of uh, state and the church and it violates the basic human rights why because it is a prayer to God. Actually, uh, historically, uh, 
declared it is the Christian God, but even if we just spit on it, it is still a prayer to God by its own text. Now, uh, so uh, telling or wording this him so this is a religious activity especially as uh, if it would used as a symbol of the nation but no one can be forced uh, to a re into a religion or to any religious activity because of the basic human rights so any of you out there can spit on this hymn tramp on its grave, piss on it, just like I do. They can't do, they, it can't have legal action because it, it is just a poem. It is not, cannot be a symbol of nation.